Hi everybody, this is Julian from RC. I've got really good news for you. Uh, as of today, you can use RC models in Amazon Bedrock. Um, that feature was launched yesterday at AWS reInvent. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what models are available today. That list will certainly grow over time. Um, we're gonna quickly discuss what those models are, what they're good for, and then we're going to deploy a couple of them uh, use them in the playground and last but not least I will also show you how to use them in your applications with the bedrock API okay so we've been waiting for this for a long time and I know some of you have also been waiting a long time so let's get started in a previous video I showed you how to deploy our models from the AWS marketplace so you can still do this this page is still running we'll keep updating the models in there no problem but as of yesterday, um, there's, I guess, an easier option thanks to this uh, new feature that was announced in Amazon Bedrock, which is called Marketplace Deployments. Um, and if you click on this and then on Model Catalog, uh, you will see models coming from different providers and RC is in that list. So at the time of recording, we have one, two, three, four, five models, okay? Uh, we have four open source models, uh, Nova, Spark, Supernova Lite, and RC Lite. And we have a commercial model called Supernova, which I've told you about quite a few times, I believe, okay? So all those models can be deployed in Bedrock, um, and we'll look at how that goes. And the key benefit is obviously the deployment process is extremely simple. And then, of course, you can use the models with all the additional bedrock features uh, like, you know, knowledge bases, prompt management, guardrails, etc. Uh, because the models are accessible through the bedrock API, they play nicely um, with all those uh, additional features. OK, so let's talk quickly about the models. Um, so Supernova is our uh, 7TB commercial model based on the Llama 3.1.7TB architecture. Again, I will put all the links uh, in the video description. You can go and read about the model, etc., etc. And um, let's talk about pricing for a second. Um, so bedrock pricing for marketplace models um, comes in two dimensions. So the first dimension is um, what kind of instance are you running the model on? Okay, uh, and as you can see here, uh, the the models are actually running uh, on SageMaker endpoints. So that's why you see a list of instances here. Um, you get to pick which instance you want to run the model on based on you know price and expected performance and throughput and latency and all that good stuff, okay? So SageMaker costs apply, uh, and obviously if you have commercial agreements, if you have you know reserved instances and, and all that jazz, then uh, no worries, uh, those prices, those negotiated prices will apply. Then for commercial models, there is a software cost that you see here, okay? So just to make sure everybody's fully aware, um, that software cost will be on top of the instance cost. Next one is Nova. Nova is an open source model. It's a 72 billion parameter model based on the, the Quen2 architecture. Um, still a very good model. And as you can see, this one is free to use, okay? Remember, you will still be paying for the instance, okay? So it's not zero dollar <laughs> for everything. It's zero dollar for the model itself, okay? I've told you twice now. Okay, so next we have two uh, Llama models. We have Llama Spark and Llama 3.1 Supernova Lite. So both are based on Llama 3.1, 8 billion. Uh, Supernova Lite is, uh, is the newer one, but I would recommend that you give both a shot. Um, they have slightly different uh, properties, right? So if you're looking for, you know, reasonably sized general purpose model, uh, Spark or Supernova Lite should do the trick. And last but not least, we have RC Lite, which is our smallest model at 1.5 billion parameters based 
on again uh, the Quen2 architecture. So this is a good one for I would say simpler applications or when you really need, I would say a, a lot of throughput at very low cost. Uh, you can easily get 100 tokens per second on a on a very small GPU instance. So that's what we have today. Again, uh, we'll keep adding models. Uh, we have a bunch of really exciting new models that we've just released. So it will take a bit of time for them to find their way into Bedrock, but uh, I'm on it. Okay, so now let's deploy some models. So we're gonna deploy the Supernova Light model and the larger commercial Supernova. Okay, so let's start maybe with a small one. Click on this. And obviously, because this is based on the marketplace, we need to subscribe. So click on view subscription options. Okay, right, again, you see, again, you see pricing for the model, which is zero. So no worries there. Let's just go and subscribe to this. And yeah, we, we're subscribed. Okay, good. So now we can go and deploy, just click on this button. So that's the endpoint name, uh, number of instances. So if you know you're gonna have serious traffic, you can go and start with more instances. And then you get to pick the instance type on which you want to run the model, okay? So for now we have uh, you know G5 and G6, but that list will change over time. I'm still waiting for those G6E instances to be available on SageMaker. But for now, let's be uh, yeah, let's be reasonable and let's take maybe G5 uh, 2XL, which is very cost effective. Settings here, uh, if you want to set your own VPC, uh, you can do this. Set some tags, you can ignore that. Okay, so let's just go click on deploy. So now let's deploy Supernova, and uh, I'm gonna show you a little trick here. So Supernova says it's available for all those instance types right which we also see on the marketplace page but if you click on the instance type list you will only see g5 and g6 okay so why is that it's not a bug it's because bedrock only shows you the latest version of the marketplace package for supernova so if we go back to the marketplace page we're going to see that we have different versions of the package so v1 is for P4 and P5, eight GPU instances. And V2 is for G5 and G6. And so that the model fits on G5 and G6, we use a quantized model. So as Bedrock only shows you the latest version of the package, you only get to see um, G5 and G6 in this list. Let's just go and deploy on G5 for now. So in this case, what would we do if we wanted to deploy Supernova on P5? Um, there's a really good solution to this problem, uh, and it is actually here. We can register existing SageMaker endpoints in Bedrock. So you would subscribe to the model on the Marketplace page, and I've showed you this in a, in a previous video. I'll add the link to the description. And once you have subscribed, um, you could deploy it on SageMaker with our sample notebooks. And once that endpoint is running, you can register it to bedrock okay so i'll show you this in uh in another video so let's pause until our two endpoints are ready and then we'll play with them in the playground and i'll show you the api too after a few minutes our models are in service so we should be able to test them let's try maybe supernova light first we should be able to open it in the playground go and select this Okay, and maybe look at the parameters here. Response length, oh, let's do more than that. Let's do, yeah, I don't know, 1024. Okay, and we can ask a question. All right, we got our answer. Pretty cool. So how do we use that model? Um, for real, with an API. So we just go back to our deployments. Let's look at this. 
and here we have the endpoint ARN. Okay, so you want to copy this, and then you can go to a sample notebook like this one. Let's just make sure we have the right ARN here. Okay, what do we do? We grab the Bedrock Bodo 3 client. We prepare an input with the OpenAI format, and you can still pass parameters too. And then we just invoke, and this time I'm going to be using the, the streaming API. And voila, right? Pretty good speed for our model. Even though we're only using a, a G5 2XL instance, which is a, a single GPU instance, very cost effective one. So that's how you do it. Okay. All right. Why don't we try our other deployments? Supernova. Let's just go and open it in the playground. Yes. Continue. Oh yeah, let's just add more uh, tokens to the output. And maybe um, slightly different prompt. So what did we get here? Imagine you have a big box full of different toys like cars, dolls and blocks. <laughs> okay, <laughs> interesting. Explain like I'm five. Yeah, I guess five was a little, a little low. But hey, okay. Let's try something else. Yeah, that's definitely a, a more complex answer. Okay, so let's try this one in our notebook too so that we can see streaming happening. Let's go to this, grab the ARN, just update this thing here. And let's just go and stream the answer here. And you can see, even though we are working with a 70B model, it's still very fast on this uh, on this instance um, because we quantized it so the trade-off is we probably lose a little bit of model quality in the process but we're able to run that 70b model on a cost-effective instance all right so that's how you do it um, pretty cool pretty simple and of course when you're done uh, please please don't forget to delete your deployments because you will be charged for as long as they're running. Okay, so let's just go and delete this one. And then go and delete the other one. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you in, in this video. Our models are in bedrock. Uh, you can one click deploy them, open the playground, use the API, and of course, connect them to all the other bedrock uh, services that are available here, okay? So I'm gonna do more videos. I wanna show you how we can register an existing SageMaker endpoint, and I'll do this with uh, the full-size Supernova running on P5, and obviously I wanna start connecting some of those bedrock features to our models and have some fun there, okay? Stay tuned, much more coming, and until then, my friend, thanks for watching, and you know what to do. Keep rocking.